かな Hi guys, um, hope you're all alright. I'm not going to start just yet. I'll hopefully wait for a couple of you to log on and check this out, uh, assuming everything's gone to plan. Uh, you should be able to hear by now that I've sorted out my audio problems, and you should be able to hear me clearly over the top of this stream. Now, this wasn't a planned series that I was doing. I always intended to continue uh, doing streams on this channel. And obviously intended to continue um, doing where I'd, where I'd started. Um, but when I was testing, I started this game. So I thought, well, I might as well carry on playing it. I'm going to have plenty more retro streams coming up. Uh, I've set up some new um, stream layouts and everything for it. You can see on this one, I've already started with something new. And uh, I'm going to be carrying on uh, now with the Resident Evil 3 remake. And we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We've already done two parts. We've basically escaped the the bulk of the city now, uh, and we're going into the territory of the crossover Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, unlike original Resident Evil 3, though, um, I'll be pointing out a lot of the differences in this. Um, instead of a Jill arriving at the police station, like she did in the original game, you're going to be playing as Carlos through the police station. So that varies it up a fair bit. <coughs> So, um, picking up from where we left off yesterday, we've just arrived at the police station. I believe I've just tooled Carlos with everything that he needs for this trip. I'm not going to be using any of the infinite ammo weapons for this run, but I will be using some of the, the tools I've accrued to help me, some of the pickup items like the defense and um, energy coins, uh, because that'll just help me get through it without taking too many hits and dying, which is just boring to watch. So. Uh, there's still obviously plenty of threat and obviously I've still got to collect ammo because I'll be using all the weapons that are available to me. Uh, at the moment I'm just rocking the handgun but of course Carlos has got his machine gun as well. I did come into here yesterday and grab some extra ammo out, out of there which I'm going to need very soon. Um, just checking I've got everything set up here that I need. Seems like I'm okay. And I'm hoping a few of you will tune in and watch this next piece. I know it's a bit lighter than normal. But anyway, here we go. So, a lot of people remember this part from original Resident Evil 2 and definitely the remake. Was that thing? We're of course arriving at the police station just before the events of Resident Evil 2. So everything we're witnessing here happened just before Claire and Leon arrived at the police station. Couldn't have been a zombie. Obviously we can't go in any of these doors because we need the uh, card suit keys which we won't have access to in this. But a lot of the areas look very familiar. Uh, here we go. Oh, what a headshot. It's a good start. <laughs> Lickers. Always the worst damn enemies in this. And I've been grabbed already. Not the best start. flash grenade that will come in handy. Right now we just need to get the hell out of here. I don't think there's anything else of use in here. Oh, so my flammer that will do. And you can see there we've got a code on the wall that will come in handy. Cap to use the uh, unlock the padlocks like we did in Resident Evil 2. Mm. 
Oh, not good. Got extra moves in this. Carlos, that's got a dash punch, which I just did to him there. Doesn't always come in handy there. <laughs> Time to break out the hardware already, I think. If I don't die first. Yeah, I'm definitely going to die here. Frankly, I don't know how I got away with that alive. <laughs> Not the best start. Especially as I know I've got to come back this way soon. Didn't mean to run into him then. Actually meant to dodge him. I haven't got my wits about me. Whew, that's not good at all, is it? Alright. Let's head to where we know it's safe at least. Familiar save room in the same place in this. Red herb, yeah, definitely going to need that, I think. Assault rifle ammo, so I just wasted a bunch. Obviously, my re regeneration coin and defense coins coming in handy here. You can see my energy going back up as I move along. Some notes about what's going on with the situation, similar to the notes of business units. <clears throat> so don't need to cover those again. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Mm, indeed. All right, I'm not going to bother saving there. My energy's gone back up now, so I should be okay. What I need to do, though, is deal with these guys that have probably followed me down here now. Yeah, there's one of them. This handgun is so much weaker than Jill. Still allowed to kill as well. I'm handling this one at all. Couldn't even get into the room in time. But if I do look into this room now, I can reset where their positions are. Maybe I'll just bypass those guys for now. I'll take them on the return trip. through here. Uh, if you've played the Resident Evil 2 remake you'll know that this section here the steam is already blasting out when you get here and that wall has already been put through so obviously you can tell that whatever events transpire here link on to what happens in Resident Evil 2. But let's see what else we've got to contend with in here so as well as a note already dead if you hear any noises coming from the locker do not open it <laughs> okay so we've got our first code here and uh, let's have a look cap wasn't it there we go 
flash grenade. Yep, definitely need that. Better not. Oh yeah, that's good. He's locked himself in the locker. He cut these springs out on you in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> So should we go in here? Right, we've got a detonator on there. But we're gonna need a battery if we're gonna get through that wall. So let's come out of here. And we've got a fat lot of nothing down here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Yeah, I think that's what everyone asks themselves whenever we play a Resident Evil game. So let's head up, see what we've got up here. Oh, so we've got the guy on the floor who's obviously going to come to life and kick my ass, so let's deal with him. Yeah, that's definitely him dealt with. I'm running a little bit low on uh, handgun ammo at the moment. And there's a key. I think I know where that key is going before. We've got another locker here. And I'm going to cop out here because I happen to know that the code for this is DCM. But it's the same as it was in Resident Evil 2. And I definitely needed that. I'll discard the one. Doesn't matter. We've got Some more handgun ammo, which is desperately needed as well. Mm, I don't know if I actually need to take him out, so I'll leave him be. We'll head back downstairs. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of these guys down here again, so I'm going to need to handle them either way. So let's get prepped. See if I can take him out while I'm on the stairs or something. Save me a bit of aggro. God, my aim is so off today. They don't follow me up the stairs, which is interesting. Oh, and him as well. He was still hiding around the corner. It's interesting there, it's the second I switch ground. That's when they actually chase me. That one's definitely dead. See him sliding around the corner. Oh, all that liquor there. God damn. Oof. Got to get out of that situation for a second. So we don't need that key anymore. Looks like I'm going to need to break out the hardware again. Do it. There's one more guy over there waiting for me. Let's finish him off, eh? Just in case. Yeah, 
definitely dead. So we've got the uh, the old locker situation here, just like we had on Resident Evil 2. But we've already got one button in place, thankfully. That looks like it's got the battery in that we desperately need. Got some ammunition in there. Code. Let's try that again. 109. There we go. And looks like we've got something handy in there as well. So let's just grab those items. Mine now. Definitely going to come in handy. Ooh, need to make some room. Load. That should do it, yep. That's created a space for us. Come the papa. We'll grab that. And we've got another herb here. So we'll take that with us as well by combining it there. Nothing of use we can grab from over here. So it's time to get out, but out there we've got a liquor to deal with. Oh, there's the code for the third floor locker. <laughs> We've got a liquor out there, which I don't really want to take out because I'll just waste all my ammunition. Um, I guess we could use a flash grenade. And then hopefully run and hope for the best. Run, 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 run. Oh, dead guy. <laughs> oh, made it past that anyway. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Better head your way. Copy that. So, let's just tool ourselves up just in case. And let's take care of this wall. Combine that with a battery, and we've now got a detonator for the C4. So let's get through this wall. Gotta move. That's okay with that. And there we go. Couldn't actually use my dodge there because I was reloading my weapon, which was annoying. Got a feeling that's not over. There's some more dudes in here. Yeah, there's one. Oh, there's two. Let's pull off the Carlos punch there. And trap myself at the same time. One at a time, take a number. God damn enemy is that. Alright, gotta use the grenade. That did the trick. Sort of rifle out. Time to run. That's when I get nailed again. That was close. Nearly got liquored. <laughs> you know, so the star's office is already open in this one. It wasn't on Resident Evil 2. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. 
I don't know how long I've been trying to reach somebody. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Like so we guess what I know our next trick is. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Okay, you do that. So, this let's see if there's anything we can take Look from around, here. See if you can find anything useful. We've got a couple of spaces. So we'll grab that. There is an item box in here, but there's no um, typewriter, so we can't save at this point. But I happen to know this is the end of his scenario, so we're we'll storing a few things here, ready to pick up when we regain control of him a little bit later. Chambers's desk. I've just finished playing th back through Resident Evil Zero, so it's a little bit of a link there. Obviously, that was the only game you got to fully take control of Rebecca in these games. Is that Jill in the front row? The infamous Stars photo that appears in a lot of the games, and a report on the mansion incident. <laughs> Obviously referring back to the original Resident Evil game. That's where Carlos learns in this how much of a badass Jill is. See if there's anything else kicking about we can nab. Flash grenade that I'll make up for one that I lost. Nothing on the racks there. Can't access the computer. Thankfully we've still got the card though to use on this. Something in there we can take away with us. A little bit of ammunition that'll do nicely. And nothing much else. So, yeah. I think we'll ditch that car now because we can't use it anymore. And we'll tool ourselves back up. And time to leave. Yeah, what's up? How's it going, Steve and Steve? Was anyone <laughs> hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Obviously, that's where. He's just found out that the train's been derailed. I'm not quite sure where this Nathaniel Bard character comes into it. I believe it's a different... I don't think he's mentioned in any of the Resident Evil games. Uh, but apparently he's come with the vaccine for the T-Virus. So. so now we're going to go back and pick up Jill's story. See what happened to her. Obviously Mikhail blew up the train yesterday. Trying to get rid of Nemesis. And it looks like you're the only survivor. Much like Bruce Willis in Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, Steve. -O. I'm not a I'm not a morning person, I'm a night person. Just gotta check where I've got left with her. Right. Let's get out of this busted up subway station. See where we are. So many smudges on my glasses, it's annoying. So we're immediately presented with a save room. Carlos? And Come a in. bunch of items. Carlos? We can't get Carlos just yet. 
we will grab the first aid spray. UBCS weaponry notice. Good news, limp ticks. We've now developed some mine rounds. So you obviously know something bad is coming. If it's telling you about some new kind of armory and the fact it's giving you a, a load of them straight away. So what else is kicking around in here? There's bound to be a few things. Uh, ah, some more mine rounds over here. There we go. Well, it's okay. So let's check what's going on in here. Pick up some items that I know we're going to need. We'll take those out. We'll discard those just because they're annoying me and being in the inventory box. Don't need those anymore. And we're going to pick up. Let's see. We got a red herb in there. Got plenty of hand ammo. Take out that green herb and we'll mix that with the red one. And let's get all the shotgun shells out we can. Because I know we're going to need those. And what else have we got? We've got explosives. We've only got one of those, though, so we've got nothing to mix it with. Right. Still a space for one more thing if I did combine those. Let's take. Let's have a look. See what we've got. Tempted to take another herb, but I won't. I think what I might do is I might take one of the assault coins, which makes my attack slightly stronger. I've got a feeling I might need that. Because I've not got much ammo at this point. I've usually got a lot more ammo at this point. But uh, I'm not going to save it just yet. Because there's some things I need to deal with first. So. We're trying to head to the surface, that's our, that's our goal here. But it looks like there's still a few stragglers kicking around here. We want to see off. Well, more than a few. Tell you what. Make a bit shorter work of those, eh? Oh, he still wants to continue to live. Let's just make sure they're finished off as well. And that should do. I don't think he wants to come to life. And if there's anything to grab around here. So they're old. I'm not quite sure there's why there's bugs underground here. Unless they're intended for the sewer workers. But yeah, it looks like there's some people crawling around up there, so let's take care of those and then we'll go back and save it. There we go. Honestly, anything except headshots on zombies in this game are useless. He's dead. He's dead. They're all dead. Let's just check the coast clear and then I'll go back and save it. I thought there might have been something useful to pick up around here, but fortunately not by the look of it. Right. Let's just quickly trip back and save it. Just in case anything happens. Yeah. 
I'm not quite rid of my ammunition there, but there we go. So one thing we will do is we're going to switch this up for mine rounds because I'm feeling we're going to need those. And actually, no, I'll stick with the explosive rounds for now. I kind of know what's coming, so. <laughs> Let's go and pull. I know there probably won't be as many of you watching this time of night, but this is the best chance I've got to do my streaming, to be honest. So I just want to take you through the game at my pace, anyway. This time of night's when I usually do all my gaming, to be honest, because I'm not bothering the missus or anybody else this way. So let's finally get back above ground after so long under. And that doesn't sound good straight away, so... So, oh, this is unusual. In the original game, we never got to be anywhere near water. Um, but that does look familiar from the original Resident Evil 3. We've got the clock tower there in the background. We've got a railway bridge. Looks like a footbridge to get across. So... Grab some hangman ammo. Clock tower brochure. Save the clock tower. It's like bloody Back to the Future. Let's see if there's any more useful bits kicking around here. So, there's nothing there. Got a box here, though. I've got my knife on me, so I'll have to shoot that. Red herbs, right, I've got no room for that. We'll just leave that behind, I think. What I ideally need is some ammunition. More ammunition. I don't think we've got any, so... Green herb, again, I've got no room for it. I'm better off with what I've got on me, to be honest, so... Let's just rock and roll, see where we go. Let's, to be on the safe side, let's change up the weapons a bit, eh? In fact, let's change them up for something a lot more serious. Oh, look at you, decided to show his face again. Not quite sure why he's still on fire. Respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, well, Nicole, Nemesis is down, down, but not out. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Yep. I'm bigger and better than ever. Time to run. Yeah. Damn, she's strong now, she. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna have to take him on. rounds going in. Put all my dodge on. Oops. Did work that time now. Oh, right on my tail man. I think I need to dodge and get some shots off here. Dodged him. Got him again. Couldn't dodge that time, I reloaded him. Go 
gotta scream at me. You know what's up to? Oh, so he climbs buildings now. Alright. See if we can do something about that then. Where's he gonna stop? Is he gonna stop? He'll stop when he's got that on his face. Ooh, it looks like his heart's hanging out. That's a bit gross. I don't really want to open his face like that. Oh, there's some ammo to pick up, so I'm getting a bit low. Let's have a look around, shall we? Ooh! Definitely some things to pick up. Where's he gone? Oh, he's up on the bloody buildings again. Right. Let's take him down a peg or two. Shots over the lights there. Definitely need some more shotgun ammunition or something. And he's back up on the buildings again. Damn right, I do. Where's he off to? Stops in a different place every time. Oh, right. Okay. That helped. Ooh, I think we got it. Well, that certainly seemed to do the trick, didn't it? Flame rounds. Got some more mine rounds. While I'm here, I might as well see if I can stock up, eh? So what else is kicking around? Red herb. There's a green herb kicking around over here. Yes, there is. It's always good to top back up after you've done a boss fight. See what else. See if there's anything else kicking about while we're here. I grabbed everything I could see over this side. Well, that over here, I don't think I even walked over here, did I, during the fight? Lots of ammo crates, but nothing in them. The ice cream bag or anything in? <laughs> nope. Nothing on the bench. Nothing on the van seat. Aha! Spot that shotgun shells, yeah. I wasted quite a few of those. What have we got here? Shotgun shells, handgun ammo. Yeah, I might have to give something up here, I think. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, I've got a few trade offs here I can make. I can't get rid of I'm not getting rid of the big explosive ammo. Shotgun cells. I think I'm going to give up and discard the handgun bullets purely because shotgun shells are going to be a lot handier in the long run. There's nothing I can do with that, I don't think. So, that'll do. Let's get out of here. Oh, something else. I need to miss those. But yeah, bunch of mine rounds. Still four more. Oh. Do I give up a herb to use mine have four more mine rounds? 
think we might just do it, you know. It's a bit daft, but I think ammunition is going to help me more in the long run. So let's go. And you know that's what you never do to the bad guys in these things. Ninety-nine, the strawberry movie at the van. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Steve. You've done me a big thing. Oh, so you couldn't help me, could you, you prick? You pasty face Russian. It's a bit sinister. He said he's done her a favour while he's she's lying on the floor, unconscious. Jill. Is it running? Do you copy? The bad light in this room, I think. Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Doctor Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. I'm not quite sure who this Doctor Bard is, or why he's so significant. Like, <laughs> that's one way of doing it. the next phase. <clears throat> so this of course is the hospital phase. Resident Evil 3, the original, there wasn't an awful lot of time spent in the hospital. It was a very brief section that you actually, uh, you actually you spent in the hospital because you actually blow the hospital up at the end of it uh, before you move through the park section but on this hospital is a much longer section so You're gonna be okay. let's see just how long so so we've got assault rifle ammo I like how there's just machine gun ammo kicking around inside a hospital a bit convenient isn't it that uh, nothing else to grab, doesn't seem. No letters. So let's see what we've got and let's see what we need out of the box. So we've got some healing items. Let's store a couple of things. And hang on to another couple of things because I've got a feeling they're going to come in very handy. I'll take that out just so I can discard it. Uh, don't need that anymore, that was from the uh, police station. And let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab the Assault Queens here too. Because it's just going to make the next section a little bit easier. And I'm a little bit nervous because it's been a while since I've done it, so. Let's save it there. And then we'll move on. So, the quest is to search for a vaccine for Jill. Don't think I've got any ammunition left for my handgun at the moment. Or did I pick something? No, I didn't. So, we're on to the assault rifle moving forward. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Stay frosty. A few movie buffs out there should know that obviously that's taken from aliens. First aid spray. No, I think we'll leave that there for now.
So we've got a feeling we might need that a little bit later on. But what have we got here? Salt rifle ammo. Yes, we'll definitely take that now. And we're going to need it pretty soon on, I think. Whenever you put a hospital into a game like this, it's always going to be super creepy. So let's see if we can take these out from afar, eh? One down. Two down. No, there's one more there. Always short, controlled bursts. Come on, asshole, break through. You know you're gonna. Just in case he wasn't dead. I like how machine guns don't even make them recoil even a tiny bit. Red herb, yeah, might come in handy. Else useful there. Let's see what we've got in here. So, around here, we've got a case that needs a lockpick. So, you know, we'll be revisiting that with Jill shortly. We've got something out there that we can't get to just yet. We've got a lot of dead bodies on trolleys. I imagine that's what New Cross Hospital's looking like round about now. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Yeah, I think we'll do that shortly. So we've got a tape player there, but we need to get a tape for it. So, read the information here. Talks about the patients arriving at the hospital, wheeling a body through a forbidden door. Yeah, definitely creepy shit. Nothing much of use on there, though. So let's carry on. Green herb, let's combine that with a red herb and create some space. Lots of dead guys. Yeah, I think I'll take those in small packs rather than in one go. I don't think they can break through this door. But we'll see. At least we can reset them each time. It makes dealing with crowd control a bit easier. If you can pace them like that. And I am taking all these guys out because I've got a feeling shortly I could be overwhelmed if I don't deal with them all now. Just check there's none hiding around the corners. Always check your corners. Got here, assault rifle ammo. Yes, thank you. I'll take that. Ooh, didn't see her. Well, you taught me a lesson, but I'll teach you one right back. Can't get in there just yet. So this is the door. We've got a hole or nothing. And we've got a stairwell. And dead guys falling from the ceiling. useful to grow unfortunately. Lots of barricades been set up. Hmm. Don't trust him but I'm gonna waste machine gun now are you? That should do it. Think kicking about to grab. God. Stingy around here, man. How many bullets in this hospital? Aha. 
handgun ammo. That's useful. A door. I can see a map. Not that we especially need it, but you can see the kind of ground we've now got to cover. We've got a few rooms to investigate. Uh, first thing we'll do though is we'll nip into this record room behind me, I think. Because I know there's some useful items in here, and I can offload some more stuff. So we've got some assault rifle ammo. We've got some handgun ammo. We've got a letter. 20 mystery patients. Yeah, it's just talking about them trying to deal with the infection that's around. Much like the COVID. And we got a green herb, which... Oh, I could combine with the double green herb out there. What we'll do is we'll drop off some of this stuff in here. So, let's see. Let's drop off the herbs. Um, I think we'll drop off the flashed grenades. Am I going to regret that choice? Yeah, I'll drop it off. I have got powered up ammunition, uh, powered up attack power, so that should help me through. A lockdown haircut. I know, Steve, my hair is going to look like that pretty soon, mate. <laughs> Yeah, definitely loads of ammo lying around if it's near Eve Town. <laughs> you got that right, mate. So, I'm fully ammoed up anyway. Save the game. And we've got a few routes to take. Now, rather than go round and round the reeking, I can say straight away that there's a couple of windows here we can go out of. Uh, no, we can't. They're around the other side, so I'm being a dick. Let's see what we've got. Right, so we're going to need a key in this room here. I'm not going to do the, the million times backtracking that I do when I'm usually when you would like you would do on a first playthrough. Just going to get right to the right to the point I need to go to. So that I end up doing damn circles, and we're going to. Dive out this window. Because there's that way we get into the little garden section they've got. We get a tactical grip for the assault rifle. What does that do for us? Greater mobility, so that should give us less recoil and faster aiming than we had before. We've got a green herb, which is always welcome. And we've got a key. And I think I know where we need that key, so I'm going to save you the bullshit. Definitely need some more assault rifle ammo. Can now unlock this door from the inside. A lot of locked doors from the inside here, I notice. Not the best uh, design for a, ho for a hospital, really. So let's head back upstairs. <clears throat> and you see the auto save logo in the corner there. Whenever the auto saves, you know shit's about to get real. Oh, yep, we just saw something big move over there. <laughs> so let's go where we need to go with this first. So let's go in here. And this looks like a bloody mess. We've got lots and lots of apparently dead guys. Let's see if they are. Well, they're not moving right now. Nothing in the locker. Don't know if that's the only thing I can pick up in here. A locker over there we can only get into with a lockpick, so I'm guessing we save that for Jill. 
Or a slight rough llama. A note. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. Keep them in your personal locker. Aha, uh -huh, so. Looks like we're going to be getting rid of this key. So I open that door. I'm going to be discarding that key. And. What did we grab in? The ID card in its place. We've got some lockers here to open. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. And a flash grenade in that one, but I've got nowhere to actually hold it, so I guess it's staying behind unless I. Yes. Get rid of four bullets and we'll take that instead because I've got a feeling it's going to come in more handy. There's anything to grab there. Now it's time to get the fudge out of here. Hopefully, we can do this right. So, I'm just going to check my map. Right, I'm going to get it out of here and run back to the save room and try and clear some inventory slots. But I know that as I leave here, I'm going for a little surprise. To be totally honest, I'm not fucking about with him. I'm just getting the fuck out of here. If I can one hit kill on these so gotta be careful Whoa, that's a good dodge we can follow me out of doors so you gotta be damn careful don't really want to waste all my ammo on him see so oh there's nothing I can really ditch that's the sad thing I've got my attack things on um, I want flash grenade take out the others just in case we need them. Yeah, I'm going to do a safety save here. Because, like I say, these guys can kill you with one hit. I don't really want to be killed in one hit. Just waste a lot of the effort that you've done. So, And now we need to make our way to the nurse's station and the sick room on the other side but I know there's going to be dudes waiting for me there so let's equip these because at least if I can stun them it gives me a little bit of uh, space to deal with them Here somewhere. Oh, it's okay. Let's go right there for a second. I need to quickly check something. I'm still with you, I'm just uh, copying out a little bit here. Just trying to make this little bit, next bit a little bit easier on myself. <laughs> right, so he's not going to move. But now there's people over here get up when I get nearby, so it's not uh, it's about too much. 
but if we can take her out from over here, we're gonna try. Yeah. Just to make sure. So the combination is right nine, left three. And in there we've got the dual magazine. Combining that with the assault rifle gives us our fully tooled up assault rifle. Assault rifle. And it means we can hold 64 bullets at a time. That makes things a lot easier. Now it's ready to take recording. I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research, his research assistant took it. And it was somewhere near the treatment room, so we're going to need that tape in order to open Dr. Bard's office. Right now, we've got a few problems of our own here. That was good targeting for once. How come the, the, the big guys on this always walk faster? Making up for lost time. So let's use our card here, which is where we what we needed it for. Well, there's still someone alive. Assault rifle ammo. Oh, and you know she's going to be waiting there to do me some damage. So let's get her out of the equation. Anything else useful? Hand grenade, yeah, that's definitely going to be useful. And a green herb. Yeah, all of those things I'll take, thank you very much. It looks like we're going to be putting those to good use pretty much straight away. So, let's just double check what we've got. All right, I'll take that first of all. I'm not sure what's lingering around here, but better safe than sorry. Thankfully, nothing around that corner. We can see in this room, which you know I'm going to need to go into, we've got not one but two fucking hunters to deal with. And these are the bits that I don't like at all. So, let's see what's in this room first. Sure, she's dead. And I can hear one more guy sniffing around there, so let's see if we can take care of him as well. Headshot would be nice. Yeah, didn't happen. But yeah, run away. When all else fails, run away. I don't know if he can come through that door, so yes, he can. Some doors they can break through, others they can't. But he left himself open by doing so, so let's just make sure he's dead, eh? Don't want any more nasty surprises. Yeah, he's dead. Assault rifle ammo, another locked locker by the look of it. Got around here. Red herb. Yeah, we'll combine that with that. And I've just seen a problem I'm about to have, so. the grenades because we definitely need those in about two seconds time because I need to deal with these damn hunters so. oh that wasn't nice I 
I had a feeling that was going to happen. Come on, man. Tell me they can't follow me at this door as well. I was desperately trying to throw him a grenade and it just wasn't letting me. Oh well that was good wasn't it? <laughs> Absolutely useless so... Looks like we put them flash grenades to use. And blind him at least. Should be able to get a free hit on him. Well, that helped. I think we'll try that tactic again because there's one more lingering behind this door. Although he's. Yeah, he's still at that end, so. hasn't heard me though so let's go with the element of surprise here let's take aim so you can deal with him from a distance oh I knocked him out got some balls to punch a monster mate So it's done. <sighs> Those situations always scare the shit out of me, man. The tape, just what we needed. It's time to get the fuck out of Dodge yet again. I don't think there's anything else useful in here, so. He was dead, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> just checking. So now it's time to make our way back down to Jill, I do believe. We could pick up that assault rifle ammo now as well. Let's take the short route, eh? <laughs> I don't think there are any enemies left on the ground floor, so. Should help at least. So let's head back now. You know this isn't going to end well. Come on then. Probably used a little bit more ammo there than I needed to. Will have to be done. Better safe than sorry. Didn't want the green herb, I want to use my. Come on, that's it, I want to use my key card so I can get rid of it. See if there's anything useful in here. Another green herb now. I'm going ammo. I don't know where I can carry it, so that's no good to me. Oh, hang on. Discard that now, thankfully. I can grab that. Reload my gun. Well, I'm not going to stick with that just in case. We've got a letter. Lost items. Stuff in the nurse's station safe. Yes, we've already been in there. Like I said, I was just trying to stop myself having to do any backtracking. Grenades galore. Yeah, I'll leave one behind. I think I can live without that one. I think that's about all I can find useful in here. We got out here. I'm sure we got that green herb in. We know I could stay. What we got in here? More handgun ammo. Ah, I can't pick it up now. Never mind. And a lock locker. Well, Jill can hopefully come and get those shortly. 
we're nearly reaching our target here. So, what have we got? You can now grab the tape deck. Combine that with our tape. And let's get into the wanker's office. See if he's got any answers for us. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Well, that's nice. Of course, I have connections higher up. Oh. Yeah, we can turn that off now. Right? And we can discard it as well. Salt rifle ammo, yes please. Hang on ammo, yes please. I can actually now pick that up. And I'll fully reload when I'm at it. So where's this fucking doctor then? Ah, there he is. Banquet invitation. Ah, it's like there's some shady goings on in the background then. Here's the dock. Bard. Oh. Tyrell. And he's dead. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And a vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's got to be a computer, right? I'll grab that. Can grab that, thankfully. Email from Nathaniel Bard. So, someone was saving the uh, vaccine for somebody. This is ERC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... So at least you know what happened to him. I got Jill all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! So... Bet it is. Sample of the vaccine. All Let's right. go and save I'm Jill. Trying. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen <clears> this town? <throat> It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. So, let's go back to Jill then, shall we? Oh, I ain't staying around and playing with you, kid. I'm getting the hell out of here. I got someone to messing around with you. Whoa! Maybe I should have stayed around. Yeah, you can piss off as well. Got no time for you. Gotta save Jill. Gonna be okay, Jill. Uh, 
I love how he just jabs it in. You don't know if it's got to be taken intravenously or what. That was a massive fucking needle. Time will tell. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention, all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. I mean, all residents capable of rational thought. There's still people in the city. That's a philosophical question. Uncle Sam gives a shit. Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Yep. Better do. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Purely because I'm getting a little bit tired now. Purely because this next part's such a pain in the hole to deal with. I'm going to store these. I'm going to store those. And I'm going to cheap out a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. Because this part did take me a couple of attempts first time round. And we're going to break out the infinite rocket launcher just for this part because it can be a bit of a slog so this is the one and only time you're going to see the infinite rocket launch through this room and it's just because I don't want to deal with this part 12 times over so we've got to defend Jill and Tyrell from whatever's coming so let's do this shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. So, we've got a bit of, uh, like, Call of Duty zombies. We've got to save the spot from what's coming in. We're going to grab that detonator because we're going to need that okay. shortly. Now the fun shit begins. Right. Now this part usually here takes a hell of a lot of concentration and a hell of a lot of having the right tools to hand but I've opened it up and because it's hell on my hands and it took me a few attempts anyway breaking out the infinite rocket launcher but we've got, we've got four windows here there's two over on that wall you've got one over on that wall there and you've got this window here just around the corner and there's obviously for an indeterminate length of time and if they breach that door, if they take all the things down off that door one by one, then uh, it's like game over. So I'm just kind of copying out a little bit here and not wasting tons of ammo by doing it. Because usually all you've got to do this is your handgun, your machine gun, and a few grenades and things that are dotted around this room. You've got the shock generators there which help you stun things temporarily. But it's a lot of running around and I just I in the mood to that again. <laughs> Still quite a long slog doing it this way. So it's mostly zombies you're dealing with, but there are a few little surprises and you can quite easily get backed into a corner with very little ammo and you you you're relying on your uh, Carlos punch to deal with them, so So we're just gonna deal with these one at a time the corner this is this is the only corner in the room where you can see everything not really at danger of being grabbed you can't go into that corner there because uh, you can't see around to that window if you go up to this corner here it, it's hard to get an angle and there's a pillar in the way of that window so this is the best corner to take the approach from So the lights have gone out and they've lost power. And one of our mean friends is in there, so 
seconds to make short work of him. And this is where you grab your last hit pouch for him. There's actually one more hit pouch I think of it earlier on, but wasn't even worth going for. You can see a couple of zombies just came out of that room there. And while I went in there, look how many have appeared, see? Uh, like I said, I wasn't in the mood to deal with all that. This is only a casual playthrough after all. I've been through this game now probably 15, 20 times from start to finish. The different difficulty levels, opening up all kinds of things, unlocking all the points to get all the things to make this a lot easier. Ooh, two of them there, I didn't even see them. So now I've restored power Tyrell's desperately trying to get the, uh, the shutters down on the windows. Because once he does, there you go, they're starting to come down slowly. Because once he does, we'll be safe. But yeah, get this bit. This gets really intense when you got them all coming from all angles. If you haven't got any of the assault rifle power ups at this point, this part's really difficult. First time I did it, I was like, oh no. Yeah, it probably took me three or four attempts, mainly because I'd caned a lot of my ammo at this point. I'm pretty good at preserving ammo, but. Uh, even this was testing my patience because you hadn't got any major kind of crowd zombies on this game like you had on some of the others. Ooh! That serves me right for not paying attention. That's how quickly it can creep up on you. And of course, we've got our friends, they've got um, the hunters, which are always a problem. Shutters are going down now. He's got the far one sorted over there nearly. The bro finally breached the door. But of course, the rocket launcher, he makes short work of that. And then, in order to keep them off permanently, you've got to break that pillar down so you can block that door. Got all the shutters down at least. But yeah, this, this bit was incredibly hard. It's also on the place you can rack up a lot of kills though, so for some of your uh, trophies in the uh, in the, the awards and trophies and things that achievements that you need to do to unlock certain things, you've got to kill so many enemies using certain weapons, and this is a great place to rack up the kills. That's that. Carlos, you all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. So you know they can't back. climb. Also, be coming up there. What they are fucking building now? <laughs> Vaccine's the real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. <laughs> that he is. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe.
It was all just a dream. True Dallas style. And that's the last you play of as Carlos in this game. So at least you do get two attempts to play as Carlos, not just one. Neither of them particularly long, but still longer than he got in the first game. October 1st. No. Can't be. So at least Jill's better anyway. And uh, we're just going to grab a couple of things here. And run them out now. Let's just change up our inventory here a little. So we'll put away a few of our first aid sprays and things like that. We'll put away our mine rounds because they'll come in handy a bit more later on. Um, I think we'll just hang on to our shotgun shells and break out the handgun ammo as well. For what we need. Right, now I've got a few options at this point. What I should be doing is I should be making my way G18 handgun burst model. So we've already upgraded our gun to have 33 shots. Uh, this is the G19 handgun because it's been carved from my original gun. Uh, the G18 handgun, it's, it's about the same, but it hasn't got the dot sight, unfortunately. Uh, and it's a damn sight weaker, so it's just not even worth hanging on to at this point. You might as well just continue with your original handgun because I fully upgraded it anyway. Uh, I was only able to fully upgrade it because I took out Nemesis earlier on and managed to get one of the, the secondary upgrades for it. So let's grab what we need out of this room. Take a step outside. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Yeah. So fuck you, Tyra. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. All right, we'll grab that. See if there's anything else useful left kicking around we can grab. Uh, just out of, just so you know, anything you didn't grab as Carlos won't necessarily be there for Jill. Uh, like there's a lot of stuff here I didn't grab that's all been removed so you don't get to pick it up as Jill so you know there was, uh, well, I tried to go everything I could with Carlos didn't need it all in the end but which is it doesn't make any sense from a kind of realism point of view because there should still be grenades and stuff in here but you know what it's it's a game in it <laughs> so let's just grab a few things Stopped upon handgun bullets. And then what I'm going to do is we've got two choices from here. See, so we can either go into the hospital or we can continue forward. Going to the hospital yields a little bit more ammunition. Um, and I, I think it gives you one more upgrade for one of your weapons. But to be honest, it's not really worth the hassle of going there. So I'm just going to prepare as though I'm not going to be going there. I'm going to store that, I'm going to store that because I don't need that right now, in fact, while I've got them available and I've got the box open, might as well mix, where's it gone, there's a single green herb there, I saw that's it, I'm going to mix those and then I'll put them back in the box, I'm going to ditch
Uh, yeah, I'm going to ditch those for now. And I'm going to break out the other because things are getting a bit more serious now. We're going to need the lockpick very shortly. And I'm going to also grab the other assault coin because it leaves that way. Uh, I'm fully tooled up and I've got maximum attack and defense power. And we're going to save it and leave it there. That's an hour and a half tonight. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, there's not a massive portion of the game left now. We've got quite a few boss fights though. One of the more interesting sections of the game. And uh, we're fully tooled up for it. I'm right about where I wanted to be in terms of ammunition supply and stuff. So uh, that should serve us well. But um, yeah. That was chapter 3 of the Resident Evil 3 remake walkthrough. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, watch it back, you know, share it around if you want to. And um, I'll be back with another stream probably tomorrow. Um, and uh, I've got some retro streams coming up as well. I've reformatted all those. But for now, take it easy. I'll catch you later.